Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today, as you can see by the title, I am showing you this look, which this is just like my go-to everyday look if I am wearing makeup. So if you're interested from looking like this, to looking like this, then just keep watching. I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. And if you do like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. If you wanna join my squad, go and click that subscribe and turn on your notifications if you guys don't wanna miss any of my videos. All right guys, let's get into it. Like I said, this isn't like, what I would wear every single day. I actually don't wear makeup every single day and sometimes I just do my eyebrows, sometimes I just put blush on. This is just like my go-to if I am putting makeup on, um, but not enough to where I'm putting on a bunch of foundation and things like that. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let's for real get started. Okay, so no matter what I'm doing, if I'm wearing makeup or no makeup, I always start out with a sunscreen. This has been my go-to. I talked about it in one of my videos and this is the First Aid Beauty Weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF 30. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Um, let's put on some cat ears, shall we? So I really like this because it's super lightweight. Um, it is 30 SPF. It looks amazing under makeup and on its own. It's not greasy. If anything, it like makes your skin look even better. It also smells good. There's just, I just love it. And also, as you can see, um, it doesn't give me a white cast. It actually comes out in like almost like a skin tone color, if you are around my skin tone, but it blends out completely. And this is what it looks like on the skin, and I really, really love it. And because I do put this on, and I already moisturize my face, I don't like actually go in with primer for this look. So this is about as primed as we are going to get. All right, so the next step is actually using my Benefit Gimme Brow. So this is a little tinted brow gel. I really love it, and I love if you guys, know my channel, you would know. I love putting this on and letting it dry before going in with a pencil. So this is the Benefit Gimme Brow and I've been using the shade four. So I'm just going to run this on my eyebrows. Uh, I really love starting out with a tinted brow gel, especially for a more like daytime look because this is really gonna do most of the work for you and you won't necessarily have to go in super heavy with a pencil after. Honestly, if I was wearing like very minimal makeup, I would just leave it at that. But since we are going to add a little bit more for a daytime look, um, I do just go in with a pencil just to define it. The reason why I like to let it dry before I go in with a pencil is because if you go in with a pencil while it's wet, it's just gonna move around. So you're pretty much messing up everything you just did. So we're just gonna let that be while we turn onto the base. So. Just because it's an everyday makeup look doesn't mean I'm not going to um, do a little bit of coverage, but I won't be using any foundation. Even though I will cover a lot of my face, it's still gonna be like way lighter. So today I'm gonna be using this concealer. So this is the JCAT Stations Water Sealed Concealer and this is in the shade Soft Tan. This is a really good, really affordable, um, medium to full coverage concealer. It does dry semi-matte and I love it. So I'm going to put a little under my eyes. So I am putting a lot less than I would if I did have foundation to like highlight. So of course I'm gonna cover the under eye bags and then I'm also gonna put it in the inner corner. Guys, most of us have the most darkness in the inner corner. So make sure you always get that, don't skip it. And then I like to do my eyelids just because they are um, a little bit of a different tone of my skin. I have a little bit of redness on my nose. So I put just a little bit on my nose and also on the sides of my nose. If you see me looking this way, it's my mirror. And then I do have a little bit of acne sometimes and acne scars on my chin. So I always hit my chin. And then lastly, I always get a little bit of redness right here. So I'm gonna be blending this out and then with whatever is extra, I'm just gonna like bring it down to my cheeks. So we are gonna cover a lot of like imperfections, but with such small amount of product, obviously we all have different concerns. So if you have perfect skin, I mean, don't use as much as me. Really, you have to customize things to your own skin and your own liking. 
This may look like a lot of product to some people, but keep in mind that I really blended it out like a lot, so I made a little bit go a long way. So before we powder, I have been absolutely loving cream bronzing, and I've been loving doing it with a foundation. So I guess technically we are using foundation, but this is only a cream bronze. So I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation in the shade Coco. At this point, you can use a powder bronzer or a contour stick. I personally just have been loving this, and I love this foundation because also, it has a spatula, so for me, it's very easy to place where I want to bronze. If you are using this exact same product as me, a little bit goes a long way, so definitely, you know, be careful at first. I'm just going to do like three dots right there and do the same on the other cheek. I like to bring up my bronzer up my temples. I like to put a little bit on my forehead, and that's about it. I'm telling you, just this much will go such a long way. And first, I'm going to... Pounce it in because this will spread, especially because it is a foundation. And then I'm gonna start just blending it in. And I love it because since it is a foundation, it does give you a little bit of coverage without actually having to put on a whole thing of foundation. I also bring it up to my nose because I do like looking a little sunburnt and you will see that I also do that with the blush. Okay, and now we're gonna add the blush. And the reason why I haven't set my face is because it's also a cream blush. I have been so into liquid and creams lately. So this has been my go-to blush. This is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush and I'll be using the shade Cinnamon Sugar. Let me just warn you, these are very, very pigmented and they do dry pretty fast. So what I like to do is actually take the doe foot applicator and put just like this much on my hand and then with the brush, I like to swirl it around and then apply it to my cheeks so that you don't get any skipping and it applies evenly. So I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks as well as my nose for that sunburnt, sun-kissed look. I love blush, so I'm gonna apply a lot of it. And now you have your base. So now you wanna go back in with your sponge and just kind of blend anything if it creases because we are going to set everything. So I will be using my go-to powder is the Haley's Beauty retouch perfecting powder you can get this on their website as well as at target so i'm going to go in with a pretty light hand and just start setting everywhere that i have cream which is everywhere and over the like bronzer and blush i kind of just go over it lightly so now that the actual eyebrows are dried we're just going to finish them off i'll be using the benefit brow styler in the shade 4.5 so this is a pencil as well as a powder you don't need to use a powder i just really like to set the outer corners of my eyebrows because i don't have as much hair there so i'm really just going to define them at this point but what's cool about it is that now i don't have to fill them in okay so let's just move on to the eyes finish those off and then we can finish the face there's not much left now i'm gonna go in with a bronzer you can go in with an eyeshadow whatever you want i just like to go in with a bronzer and just put it on my crease to kind of contour my eyes a little bit and give it some color so they're not super washed out. I'll just be using the Benefit Hula in Caramel and there's not much to it. Again, I'm just going to give myself a little bit of depth, depth, depth. I have such a hard time saying that word. But you could also just use your cream contour stick if that's what you want. I just do this. This was, and then I put the same bronzer on my lower lash line as well that really ties in the whole look together and also it's gonna make your eyes look a lot bigger. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then I don't have like necessarily a favorite mascara. I just like to use a lengthening mascara and do one coat, let it dry and then add a thickening mascara. This is the Lancome, no name, but it's the one that has a button and it vibrates. Again, you don't need this, I just really like to use a like rubber wand first and then just a thickening mascara so i'll be using the grande cosmetics drama after and this is going to make them really thick so let's apply a bunch of mascara because this is what makes the look we are almost done i promise guys if i do this without explaining it i could literally do it in like 15 minutes i promise for the bronzer instead of setting it with like a regular bronzer i like to use like a very glowy type of powder so this is actually a strobe 
palette from Milani and I have the shade golden light and I'll put that over my bronzer and this is gonna give me such a beautiful like healthy glow and I just love it I love doing the cream bronzing because you really don't need that much product to get pigment and if you're obsessed with blush like me um, I like to go in with another blush this is the wet n wild um, color icon in mellow wine as you can see, I'm pretty flushed, but I just like to overdo it with blush. Um, it is what it is, so I'm just going to go over it because I love it. But you could totally just leave it as it is. And my go-to highlight for like an everyday look is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. They do have different shades. I have the darker one, which is Be My Sunlight, just because I do like to put this all over my face. It'll give you a really good glow from within. So I'm gonna go in pretty heavy-handed, and I'm gonna put this all over my cheeks. See how it's not like super intense? But guys, this gives you like, I don't know. It just gives you such a healthy glow without looking like you have so much highlight. And I don't like that for like an everyday look. So I'm gonna put this all over my forehead, my nose, and just kind of everywhere. The only time I will use a like pretty bright highlight is in my inner corners. I just can't get away from that. So I'll be using the Persona Cosmetics Kali Glow Highlighter in Zuma. Everything I use will be linked down below. So I'm just going to add that to my inner corner with a little tiny brush. And if you're feeling fancy, just put a little bit under the brow bone if you want. The cool thing about this is that because we didn't use a foundation, even as it fades, the makeup fades really nice. Like you end up looking like you didn't have that much makeup on. Like, I don't know, because I feel like sometimes when foundations fade, it gets like really crusty. But since we didn't use foundation, it just looks good all day. So. We have the base done, and now we're gonna set it. Um, I've been loving the Bretman Rock Jungle Rock Setting Spray from Wet n Wild, really, really nice. It is a dewy spray. Just spray your face with whatever you need, if you need a mattifying spray, a dewy spray, or just any kind of spray. So if I am not in the lipstick vibe that day, I will just use this. This is the Essence Kiss the Black Sheep Lip Balm, and I love it, it's like a lip stain. It is black. And you put it on and it makes your lips pink and it actually does stain them which I love but I do have pretty small lips so sometimes if I'm trying a little bit harder I do like to line my lips go to liner at the moment and been for a while Gerard cosmetics in the shade sugar and spice this is just such a beautiful nude so I'm just going to line my lips. So that lip liner with the chapstick, see how it looks? My lips obviously look a lot bigger and defined, but it's not as heavy as like a lipstick. We are done, guys. We are done. All right, guys, so this is my go-to look. As you can see, it is obviously like I am wearing a good amount of makeup, but I feel like it still looks really fresh. Um, I don't feel like you can see every single layer that we put on. Just do whatever you want. Don't use as many cream products if you don't want to. Really just take my advice and apply it to your skin type and like just what you like. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you ever see me on Instagram with a pretty like basic everyday look, it's this one. So if you want to, now you can recreate it. Again, I will link everything down below if you guys want to purchase it. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. I love you guys so, so much. Go in the comments and come say hi and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.